I'm Dennis of Capital Training and Shoeing, and I had a little horse here that, that uh, the lady on that told me that he was having some difficulty in getting in the trailer. She said he loaded perfectly the first three times that she loaded him, and then all of a sudden he, he came up and decided he didn't want to get in the trailer. Now we have been doing groundwork with him today, and yesterday we're at the Silver Supreme uh, seminar this week, so he's had some, uh, it's, it's called mental readjustment, with using the essential groundwork skills that we talk about through our system. So let's, let's go to the trailer and just see where the groundwork has left us and decide from then what the horse does, what we're gonna do next. I'm not gonna go there with a, a preconceived uh, notion of what I need to do. I'm gonna wait and let the horse tell me. If he's ready to get in, we'll just let him get in, okay? There's resistance right there, okay? So rather than get in a, get in a tug and war here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use an opportunity. I'm gonna tell him to go forward with my hand right there on the, on the lead rope, and then get this out of the way so it's not dangling quite so much. And then I'm gonna follow up behind the drive line, and when he took that, that step, he stepped into freedom. He offered those steps and they were directed into the trailer. And I'm gonna give him the, the choice here to either go in the trailer or buy it. Now, I'm gonna ask him to come forward. He chose to go towards it. I'm gonna shut this. So I'm gonna ask him again to go forward. He chose to go off over there, that's the wrong answer. I'm gonna ask him to go forward again. There's the right answer. Yes, he went in, but the attitude he went in with wasn't best. He went in, he went in rushing and he went in too rapidly. So I let him, let him come out. I want to set it up to where I let him go in. Better attitude, just step just the front feet in and see what. Let him just stand there with his front feet in and his front feet out. The threshold of the trailer presents a, uh, um, it's, it's energy that most horses don't like. So if I can expose him to that energy from the trailer and let, it, let him find out it's not gonna hurt him, he's gonna be much more apt to stand there comfortably and change his attitude. Just created a wall here. Let him just think about it and let him see, it, see him settling. Yes, he came out, but look how much better his attitude was about coming out. Ask him to go forward again. I, I didn't understand the question. Well, my point of influence is anytime I'm I'm close enough to him that when when my movement influences him to either go or to stop, I'm at a point of influence. So, so I'm at a point of influence here. I let him I let him just step up there. I want him to stay there a little bit longer and realize this whip is not his problem whatsoever. That that his attitude about getting in the trailer was the problem. And at this point, I've let him go in and turn around and come out. I haven't tried to prevent him from turning around. I don't want him to think about turning around when he goes in, but I need to let him do that if I can. If my trailer's wide enough to let him, they will 
they will get much more comfortable if they can go in and turn around and walk out than they can if they get in there and get tight and we try to force them to back out right away. So we've got to get him comfortable in there, let him know this is a resting place, that nothing but good is going to happen in there before we can do any more. Now I ask him to go on in. Now, he's ch it's his choice to stand in there. So I'm going to let him just stand in there. Now I'm going to come up in here now and help him to back out this time. So I've got the halter up here. I've got it up close and I'm just letting him feel the halter on, on his nose here by pulling back slightly until I get a try. And he's, he's so close to the back that when he tries, he's going to step out. So I'm going to go further up into the trailer. He's expecting to be walloped from behind. So when he moves forward, where's it coming? Where's it coming? He's, he's not sure because of the walks he's had on his behind, probably somewhere getting in here. So I'm going to ask him to back up now. There. When he took those steps, I let him feel that reward, release. There's a, there's a, um, he's feeling pressure, pressure there. When he, when it got down to his feet, that was his release. Perfect. Each time he moves his feet, he's finding release. He can see that threshold is coming. So I can feel him rising up in here. So I'm, I'm going to reassure him that it's okay. I'm here for you. Nothing's going to, nothing's going to hurt you. And I'm there with, uh, I'm there with mindful thought. Let's call it that. When I touch him, it's to touch him to reassure him. Give him a chance to take a deep breath and he's okay. So he's got a leg cocked now like he's comfortable and he's right there at the threshold. So he's getting an opportunity to get comfortable in a place that he had not been comfortable in. So I'm going to ask him to come again. Let him find his way. He knows he's right on that ledge. Getting a little help from the wind. Now right here is where I hear a lot of people start in with the verbal stuff like step, step, step. <laughs> what the heck? I almost don't understand English. He don't know what step means. So we're going to come up here and help him to get comfortable in that spot. I'm come back here. You help him to get comfortable when he moves his feet back. Just gonna hold it here and wait. Now when he when he comes off, at that point I can't I can't keep him from coming too fast. I can't I've got to wait on him. Now he came off, but his attitude wasn't as good as it needs to be. So I'm gonna ask him to come back forward. I've got a forward button behind there. You see where I can do this by myself, right here. The same forward button I used on the ground. And I'm gonna let him just sit there. Let him sit here until he gets comfortable. When he's moving his feet and I haven't told him to move it, he's telling me I'm not comfortable. <laughs> it's all right. A little time set here and he's gonna find he can get comfortable. So let's, let's go forward again. Let's go up there like that. We've got a trailer that's wide enough to do that, so let's turn a circle in here.
what's happening up here, he's coming up here and getting tight, all right? So I need to help him to look to the left while he's moving his hip, hopefully to the right. We're gonna get up here and give him a little bit of room. We're gonna represent this. Okay, so he made it through. I'm gonna let him sit there a minute and we'll, we'll, we'll set it, let him have that opportunity again. He just took a deep breath, got himself tamped back up in that corner, he got him up tight again. Come on back through here. Made it through again. Let's go the other way. Now let's back off. Now let's go over here and give him an opportunity to find his way, his own way up in there. If your rope's long enough, you ought to be able to set your truck and load your horse. So I think really all I've done is, is I've, I've shown him that this is a comfortable place to be. That's all I've done. Instead of, instead of coming out here and creating a big episode that he gets more and more anxious about with trying to pull him in or force him in or, or something, we just let him go in and do what, what we want him to do. And, and he found out, heck, that's what I want to do too.